here's the deal. Blade and Soul and Game Guard doesn't really go well together. And in fact, recently there's been many people who are reporting issues of Game Guard specifically affecting their system. This is targeted towards Windows 8 and 10 users specifically. And I don't know if it's in conjunction with one of the more recent NVIDIA drivers that came out around this time that also had some stability issues. But there are numerous reports where people could delete Game Guard, the folder, and run Blade and Soul and have their stuttering issues fixed for the most part. However, that only worked whenever NCSoft decides to not run Game Guard on their server. Then there are times where NCSoft decides that they'll re-enable Game Guard, and the problem with that is that it comes back to Game Guard being the core issue. For some reason, when it tries to update itself, it gives users the 4049 error. So this video is to make sure that if you do have this error, that hopefully this will fix it. For the most part, I know this worked for a lot of people. There have been other users that report that it, this doesn't work, but I don't know, it's worked for me and I'm running on Windows 10 Pro. So anyways, just to show you what the underlying problem is, let's go to my Blade and Soul folder. And you can see that I don't have Game Guard right now. Um, and so I'm gonna run the client. And now what it's going to do is it's going to download Game Guard itself. And once it finishes downloading Game Guard, which is only about 10 megabytes, um, that should be up to date and it should work. But no, when it tries to launch Blade and Soul, it will give me the 4049 error. And now once it tries to launch itself, you'll see this error message. So okay, so right now once you click OK, it'll go to GameGuard's website, which by the way has some outdated information already. Close that, and what you want to do, the solution to this is simple. You actually need to find an older version of GameGuard. And how you do this is, unfortunately, you have to like just Google this. Um, I usually travel to the subreddit for Blade and Soul, and people have been reporting this error as well. So apparently someone on the official forums sent out a download file containing the old Game Guard. So you would use this link, download an older version of Game Guard, and put it back into your bin. So right now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to actually move this game guard out. So that's the older version. And I do have the older version right here in the deleted folders. I'm going to replace the original file. All right. And now when you run Blade and Soul, it should work. And there you go. You see the splash screen? It's going to start up the game. So now my issue lies again with this game guard. It, it's currently going to be running since NCSoft decides to re-enable it on their server. And what this is going to cause is occasionally I'm going to get these game freezing, game stuttering issues because of this program. Um, but like I said before, I usually just delete the folder because that actually helps improve my performance. I never get any more stuttering anymore unless if I'm doing like Black Rim where there's hundreds of characters on a screen, but that's normal. But what's not normal is when I'm getting stuttering while loading into the main character screen. Right now it's working fine, but there will be times when it won't do that at, at all. The only solution now, unfortunately, is that you either have to live with the stuttering issues until NCSoft decides to do something about this, or whenever they don't have game guard running you can just delete the game guard folder keep it safe somewhere else don't necessarily put it in your trash bin because you might occasionally clear out your trash bin and delete it um, so that whenever they do re-enable game guard and you get the 4049 error again you just move your old game guard folder put it back into place and replace the newer game guard folder because for some reason game guard can't update or install itself anyways 
I hope this helps you guys because this has been an issue that many users have been reporting. Uh, yeah, and so take care, guys. Thanks for watching this video. See ya. Have a nice day.